Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Edge. I have another unboxing for you today. And these are, if it's the knives I'm thinking of, are a couple of knives that I have been waiting for quite a while to get my hands on and finally have. So I'm going to try and get into this package and I'm using my Mini Osborne, Benchmade Mini Osborne. And, oops, I seem to be hung up on a box or something. There we go. There was a box at the end. And you can watch the review on that, the Mini Osborne. Sorry, I got some light filtering in the window here. But, uh, yeah, check out the Mini Osborne cool little knives. I really like them. So the knives that I have picked up, a Bestech, which I've not dealt with Bestech, good old Kershaw, and Artisan Cutlery. And so yeah, I've been excited about these guys because I've been wanting to get my hands on these particular knives for a long time. So I'm gonna we'll do what? I'm going to... I'm gonna start off with the Kershaw because most of us are familiar with the Kershaw. And what end? Probably picked the wrong end, but whatever. Yep, I did. Oh, maybe I didn't. So some of you might recognize this. This is the Kershaw Matrix. And this is the mini version. But I just really liked the color of it. The red and the black. It looked pretty smart, I thought. Let's see how it works. Whoa! It works. So I took my thumb off. But that thing snaps open. Wow! That is a cool little knife. I am liking that. So it's got the frame lock on it. And G10. And I forget what the steel is on it. Does it tell me? ATR 13 MOV. So I'll keep my thumb out of the way this time. Yeah. It's got jimping on it. Which I like the jimping. Nice little pocket clip. Fits good in the hand. It's kind of a three finger hold on this, but it still fits pretty good. Yeah, that's feeling good. Leverage on it. It's a nice looking knife. I think I'm going to like this. So I'll be doing a review on that eventually. We'll set him out of the way. Should we go smallest to biggest? And what end? Okay. Let's see. Now this is my first experience with Best Tech, and I picked the wrong end to open. And this is the what Best Tech? Best Tech. Thin. And wow, that's a big knife compared to the one I just had. And it's heavier too. Wow. But so far, I'm liking the look of it. I like they got their little decal there and smart looking knife. Let's see what it opens like. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's got, I guess, kind of a spear point blade and fuller on both sides down the middle. Opens nicely. Liner lock. Wow, that's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth, almost drop close. That's, that's a VB smooth. <clears throat> Liking that. 
That's a big knife. It's got some jimping on the back there. G10 and 14C28N steel on this. So a little higher end budget steel. And I went and got fingerprints on it already. So, wow, I'm gonna enjoy carrying this knife. I'm liking this. Feels good in the hand. Be good for a person with bigger hands. You got some jimping on the bottom there for grip. Yeah, this is a nice looking knife. So that is the Best Tech Fin. And last but not least, which I think is a bigger knife again than what I just had. Sorry, my allergies are, are bugging me today. This is one I have watched for probably over a year and finally got my hands on it. This is the Artisan Cutlery Zumwalt. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's, yeah, slightly bigger than the best tech. And uh, there we go. That is the Zumwalt. And I am liking that. That is a nice feeling knife. Big handle. This would definitely be a good knife for somebody with big hands. Nice smooth pivot on it. I don't know if I can do the reverse flick. No, nope. you don't get enough purchase to do the reverse flick. But it has the flipper tab on it. G10 handles. And I believe this is D2, yeah, D2 steel on it. Need a little cleaning up. It's got a little oil there, pivot lube on it. But uh, see how it... Sorry, it's a big knife to fit in the screen there. Try and do another drop close for you. So not quite drop close, but boy, it's close. And if I uh, work with that a little bit, get past the detent. Yeah, it doesn't take much effort. Lines up, looking good. Well, except when I don't flick it properly. Sits in there solid. Wow, this is a nice knife. I'm liking that. Good grip on it. Feels good in the hand. Yeah, you could do do some stuff with this knife. A little bit of a choil there and fuller on both sides. Doesn't quite go to the tip, but it's nice looking knife. That is the Artisan Cutlery Zumwalt. So I'll be doing reviews on these guys in a little while, carry them for a little while and and see how they all fare in the pocket and doing little jobs around the house here. And yeah, other than I'm going to cut myself eventually with this thing. Fortunately, it has the rounded edge if I don't hold it properly. That's better. So, we got the Kershaw, we got the Best Tech, and the Artisan Cutlery. Looking forward to carrying those and letting you know what they're like. All right, thanks for joining me on this short little uh, unboxing. And uh, I will be doing a review in a couple days, so watch for that. Until then, you stay safe and stay sharp.